Welcome to another Scuba Scene occasional blog. We're just going to show you how to tie the three knots that Paddy like you to be able to tie. That is the round turn, two half hitches, although I think in the TDM manual it says it's two half hitches, but the picture shows a round turn and two half hitches. That, a sheep bend and the bowling. Okay, so first of all, round turn and two half hitches used when you want to tie a rope to something or something to something round turn so it's just go round go over the standing part of the rope which is that bit this is the working end and through that loop pull it up gently go back over the rope through that loop pull it up gently cinch the rope up there's the knot, cinch it up tight, round turn, two half hitches. Once more. Around, doesn't matter which side you go. Okay, go okay. from there, through the gap, over the top, through the gap, Cinch it up, a round turn and two half hitches. Next one, sheet bend. Okay, joining two ropes together. Always make the bite of the rope in the thicker of the two. Okay, so there's the bite in the rope. Bring your end up. Take it over and always take it over the working end of that rope. Underneath both parts of the bite, like that. Underneath and then just slip it under that loop. Don't go down, just slip it under. Pull it down gently. That's it. Okay. If this rope is a horse or something like that and it's particularly thick, it can spill because the tension on the rope will open it out like that. You can just quickly take another turn around the rope, stick it underneath again and cinch it down. All right. Does help keep it tighter. But that is a sheet bend once more. Bite in the rope, always in the thick of the rope. Come up from underneath. Go underneath both bits, both parts of your bite. Lift that little loop up. Go through that little loop. Pull it tight. To know you've tied it right, that comes out of the knot on the same side as that. If it comes out on the opposite side, strictly speaking, it's not correct. Okay, but I've noticed some instructors don't realise that. Okay. So, that's that one. Sheet bend. And now, the bowline. The one that everybody seems to, for some reason, struggle with. Okay, there's the standing part of the rope. Here's the working end. Just take it over, working part of the rope over the top. Okay, now the rabbity bit. The rabbit comes out of the hole, goes round behind the tree, and goes back down the same hole. Pull gently. There it is, there's your bowling. Once more. Okay. Make the hole over the top, the standing part of the rope. Rabbit up through the hole, 
round behind the tree, back down the hole, cinch it up. That's your bowling. The working end of the rope here should come through the same side as this part of the loop. Okay, not down the other side. There you go, that's a bowling. Okay, now I'm going to show you better knots to use instead of the ones I've just shown you. These are the ones you I would suggest you learn and remember. Okay, first one is the Oswald knot. This replaces the round turn two half inches. It's been used on gill nets for a long, 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 long time. Fishermen use it on gill nets. It's subject to a lot of uh, water movement, bouncing up and down, you know, so it has to stay tied. Easy. Again, it's just round and roundy knot. So you just go over. Remember, this could be a rope, could be anything. Over the top of the standing part, come underneath. Over the top of the standing part a second time, but come underneath on the opposite side this time. Find the initial turn for the standing part, so that's that one there, and simply tuck the working end through. Gently cinch up the knot. It's important you make sure these three lay flat and don't you haven't got one crossing over or trapped between another knot, another part of the rope. Pull the knot off. There it is. Okay, an ossel knot. Tried and tested by fishermen for years. Okay, brilliant. Much better than the round turn, two half hitches. That's the ossel knot. We'll just do it once more. So go over, round whatever it is you're trying to tie to, over, over a second time. Okay, try to avoid this crossing, over a second time. When you come round for the third time, standing part of the rope is now trapped between those turns. Lift up this little loop, tuck your working end through. Pull it all up tight, quick check. Pull it all up tight. There you go. Job done. Ossel knot. Next one. To replace sheet bend. As you bite in your rope, remember, always make the bite in the thicker of the ropes. So this time, go down and under the standing part of the rope, across both parts of the bite and under, across both parts of the bite and under again. Lift up this loop, go through it. Don't go down at this point. Go under and come back up. Okay, so both parts come up through the bite. Slide it down, cinch it up. Okay. Once it's in there tight, what you'll find is it's harder for the bite to split open and spill the knot. Okay, so there you go. S a version of a simple Simon knot. Just get it to pieces and I'll show you it again. Can be a bit of a so and so to get undone. It's been a lot of tension on the rope. There you go. Out you come. Again. 
There's your bite. So go down, this time under the standing part, over and under, over and under again, underneath this loop, under and back up. Cinch it up. There it is. Okay. It's got lots of kisses on it, by the Okay. Easy to do. Get rid of that. Okay. Bowling. This is still going to be a bowling. But it's called a water bowling. Okay, same procedure. Make a hole. Okay, remember over the standing part of the row. This time, make another hole by doing the same thing over this part of the row. So you've now got two holes. The rabbit comes up through the first hole, then ducks down and comes up through the second hole. He goes round behind the tree and then he just follows his track back. So just follow where you came from. Pull the knot up. It's a water bowline. Okay. Note that your loop, the rope creating the loop, comes out between these two locking turns. Right, makes it so much more secure. Once more. Make a loop, make another loop. Rabbit, up, under, up through the second hole, round the tree, Follow where he's just come from, back down, it's there. Pull up the first knot, pull up the second knot. Those two locking turns make that a really strong loop. Okay, water bowling. I'll just show you a quickie with a bowling. If you have to hold on to your buddy or something like that to and somebody throws you a line you can't let him go or you're injured you've injured your arm you can tie a bowl in one-handed hand over so over leave plenty of room just rotate your hand so hand over pick up both bits of the rope and turn your hand over you will create a loop so the rabbit is already up through the hole. From there, with your hand up through the hole, you can take the rabbit round the tree and pull him back down through the hole. All right. You then have the loop of bowling around your buddy. So buddy's body would be in there. If you think it's not secure, simply just put a round turn on that rope. Okay, that just helps lock it off. Bowling. Okay, tied one handed. And there you go. That's the end of today's lesson.